Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So this tarot card reading is going to be focused on new love, soulmate energy. And it's going to be looking at if anybody is coming towards you, okay? So if you're interested in that, and if you're tired of readings that are focused on your ex, then this might be the reading for you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So the first two tarot cards that fell out is basically talking about the need for you to forgive and to heal and to let go of the things that have been stressing you out. These two particular cards are very indicative of the fact that you may have in the past been holding on to pain and hurt and things that really got you down, making you feel depressed, making you feel a sense of sadness, making you feel like, you know, life is just not working out for you, life is not bringing you the happiness that you want. And what I see from the cards is an indication that you have a lot of love to give and you have this amazing sort of personality that's going to allow for, you know, all the things you want to come towards you. Now, what I'm also seeing from the cards is you may have more than one individual coming towards you, okay? Why I say that is because I'm seeing two very distinct energies. This could be an ex and this could be a new person coming towards you, okay? The energies I'm seeing is Aries, Sagittarius and Leo and I'm seeing Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So what I'm noticing here is for some of you, you know, you might have opportunities of love, but you might have a difficulty in deciding which individual is right for you. And I feel like this difficulty you're having, you know, it could be affecting you in terms of making a choice. For some of you, an ex could be popping back into your life and you could be feeling stuck not knowing which way to go in or which direction is the right one for you. So this could be making things even more difficult. I feel like for some of you, you were played by an individual, okay? I feel like for some of you, you were an option. And I feel like someone cheated on you. You may have been in a third party situation. You know, you may have not known you were in one. You may have been, you know, chasing after a person that was married. Or you may have been married and someone was chasing after you. The possibilities are unlimited. But I feel like you were not a priority to someone. And that's the main gist of what I'm trying to say there. It doesn't matter your marital status. It doesn't matter your relationship status. What matters is I feel like you were taken for granted. You were not appreciated. And I basically feel like, you know, what you brought to the table was too much for this individual to handle. Okay. And what I'm sensing from these cards here is it's important for you to forgive, to heal and let go of whoever or whatever hurt you or made you feel depressed, sad, and down, okay? So what I want to do now is I want to focus on these two energies. They're very distinct energies. It could be the same person. It could be two different individuals, you know? So let's see. that, you know, someone made you feel very neglected and they made you feel, you know, like you couldn't reach out to them, like you couldn't depend on them, you couldn't be with them. And this could be the fire energy, this could be the air energy, okay? And what I'm noticing is this person might have been very cautious to commit to you, but they were communicating to you and that wasn't enough for you. It made you feel very emotional because in your heart and your mind, you wanted to be married. You wanted someone to come in and sweep you off your feet or to take care of you or to love you in the way that you deserve to be loved. 
I feel like they were communicating to you and you know sometimes they were there sometimes they were not there and they may have left okay and that may have shattered you that may have made you feel so you know unhappy so miserable it may have really knocked into your self-esteem your sense of, of self-worth you may have felt very hurt by this individual's perspective i just feel like they were messing around playing games and not being who you wanted them to be and so that was a very painful chapter in your life now the cards are saying that if you were in that situation where this individual didn't want to get married, didn't want to commit to you, didn't want to make anything official, but they were just there talking to you back and forth here and there and, you know, it wasn't enough for you, the cards could be indicating maybe you should stop communicating to this person because they're just wasting your time, okay? Maybe you should let that individual go because they're not being completely honest with you. They're not being straight up. And why would you ever put yourself in a situation to be disrespected in that manner? This could be the fire energy. This could be the air energy. For some of you, it could be either or or both. Or it could be just, you know, a combination of their energies combined. Before I forget, it's important for you guys to watch your sun, moon rising and your Venus. And to also, you know, subscribe to this channel. And if you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So now let's move on to the new love coming into your life. I get the feeling that when you move on and move forward with your life, whomever you're leaving behind is going to feel like they've lost the opportunity to make things right. And that gives me the impression that they feel a sense of guilt for whatever they did to you. There is happiness coming forward, okay? And I feel like your world is going to change. I feel like a lot of joy will come into your life, but at the same time, you might be feeling held back by this old energy and based on how you choose to react to it and what you decide to do with it, you know, your sense of happiness will be affected by that old energy. So I feel like if you want to let go of that, or if you're still keeping contact with somebody that has been exhausting you, draining you, or leaving you feel down, it might be time to free yourself from them, okay? So whomever this individual is that has been making you feel unhappy, miserable, or just not worth your time the cards are indicating that there's happiness coming into your life right but you have to put an end to the sort of energy which has been draining you and making you feel unhappy and miserable for some of you you know there might be leo Libra, there might be Capricorn energy, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. You know, there's so many different energies that have come out here, okay? But I feel like you need to go where you feel a sense of happiness. That's where you're going to find your happiness. And you need to stop communicating to the person that's wasting your time and that's just dragging you on and making you, you know, hold on to hope. They could be breadcrumbing you or just, you know, giving you this false sense of, happiness that the two of you can one day be together but then again you know they're not really backing it up you don't want to waste your time with that individual i feel like someone is obsessed over you okay i feel like someone has been obsessing for a long time but at the same time i feel like they haven't been doing anything because they've been a little bit stubborn about it so the cards are indicating here that some of you could end up in a situation in which you feel restricted from moving forward in your life just because someone keeps interfering and not letting you go. You know, I feel like someone doesn't want to let you go. Someone is holding on very tightly and they might get in the way of you moving on with your life and having the happiness that you would want, you know, in terms of your future. So be very careful for that energy. I am picking up someone is obsessed with you and they could interfere 
you know, in the new relationship that could be coming towards you. So I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. And if you like a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.